Super Nintendo. This is the Elite Gamer here with my fifth game review for Season 2 of the Elite Gamer which will be Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat 9 as affectionately called by most of the people from before. In a time when uh, arcade obsolete classics and video game heaven reigned supreme, this was one of the few games which stood toe to toe against Street Fighter which really went the distance. With its gory tactics, devastating finishing moves. And the way that it really just drove you to really knock the living hell out your opponent. Well right now they have X-ray moves in this, which is this move I just done. We never had that in the old games before. And the biggest, the biggest gripe we have with most of the original Mortal Kombat games, from number one to, to where we are now, is that in the original games, they never told you how to do them for fatalities. Anyone else would have thought you had to. We, back in the day, anyone else would have thought we had to be some. Mortal Kombat God to work out how to do them, but no more. They actually tell us how to do the Mortal Kombat fatalities. Now isn't that nice? Not before time. Okay, split decision. There we go. Just, just pity it took Midway and everyone else behind Mortal Kombat eight years onwards to get it right. In addition to that little um, piece of information, all your lead favourites here, and when I say your lead favourites, I mean your lead favourites, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade. To be honest, I think the only other, the only other, there's only one bad thing I want to say about this game. It's not a really horrible thing. But as far as I know, you can't really, you can't play as any of the, um, like, 
they can't place any of the bosses, which I find really annoying. You know, it would have been nice to have played as like the really powerful characters like Shao Kahn, Goro, and that, and actually be able to do their fatalities if to the extent if they have any. But other than that, you know, it's, it's something I'm willing to overlook considering the fact that they've actually told us how to do the finishing moves that we wanted to know how to do eons before, right from the word go. I've had a step on it, but this is ridiculous. And they say, how can you fight what you cannot see, more what you cannot hear. Okay, that was harsh, really unnecessary. Let me learn to keep your guard up. As David Prowse once said, you're unwise to lower your defence. So that was my thoughts on Mortal Kombat for the PS3. I'll give this a 10 out of 10 for a big improvement compared to the not obsolete nostalgia and fun and games what it was before. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.